Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all my new warriors and thrivers that are watching this video today. This is your girl, Mommy So True. Hello, y'all. I am back with another video. I want to talk to you about what's on my heart today. As you guys know, if you're new to my channel, I am just journaling my journey after going through narcissistic abuse this is a deep-rooted situation a deep-rooted issue and it's way way deeper than just me coming out of a marriage with a narcissistic man you guys this video is so heartwarming to me um it has taken so many years for me to muster up the courage to do what I am doing, what you guys see and what you guys know and and how I've introduced myself to you all as mommy so true. You guys, narcissistic abuse is nothing to play with or play about. It is a very complex situation. And if you are someone who's been scapegoated, you've dealt with narcissists around you, you've dealt with narcissistic abuse all around you, your family members in particular, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Today's video is probably going to resonate with you a whole lot. So many of you that are dealing with a narcissistic spouse or have dealt with one, you need to really pay attention to your own family background and your own family dynamic because I'm pretty sure somewhere in your family circle, there are narcissists and they probably had some type of role in raising you. They were probably in your life from an early stage at the end of it all, going through this, you end up suffering through life. If you're watching this video, I know you can relate. You end up suffering through life. You're suffering with a narcissistic spouse. You're suffering with narcissistic family members. And this is such a spiritual battle for our lives. It is such a spiritual battle. And it takes going through this and fighting a good fight. And the fight is really about your truth. The fight is your truth. Your truth is what will fight for you if you are dealing with narcissistic abuse or if you're coming out of it. Because it's so complex, because it's so hard to explain, because those people around you just won't get it because it hasn't maybe happened to them or maybe they haven't even paid attention to their own narcissistic situations. But for you in particular, you are where you are in life for a reason. You went through what you went through for a reason. I am finally able to stand here with so much bravery and so much courage and share my story and, and try to educate the world about what's going on in my world or what has happened in my world after so much suffering, after going through so many things in life, after making decisions that have awakened me, enlightened me after learning that I've made the same mistakes over and over and over because I've been learning pieces from every time I've made that mistake. I've had to learn a little bit every time I messed up, every time I've, I've gone through a whole decade of transitioning. I've gone through 10 years of healing, 10 years of learning, 10 years of figuring out who I am. And I am so grateful I can stand here today and boldly tell you guys that my gratitude is so high. I have so much gratification, which means so much pleasure for the things that I desire in life because I am now a more happier human being than I used to be when I didn't know what this was. There has been a delay in, in my gratification because I have been in a molding process. You guys, when I say your truth will fight for you, I, could, I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to defend yourself. You don't need to try to get nobody to understand what you're dealing with or what you've dealt with. What you need to do is see why it happened in your life. And understand that the time that it happened was time that was necessary to mold you. There were some habits you needed to be broken. There were some thoughts you needed to change. There were some things you needed to rearrange. It may have took 20 years. It may have took 
30 years. But it took that time. It took that time for you to get into that gratification mode. Gratification has been delayed because you've been dealing with narcissistic abuse. You've been doubting yourself. You couldn't see your self-worth. Getting out of the bed had become harder and harder the longer you stayed in the abuse. Because you didn't see what you needed to see. You only saw the narcissist. You only see the family members that you're trying to be there for. You're trying to love and support. But the same thing does not get reciprocated back. You only get loved for certain things that you do or contribute to. You guys, right now in my life, right now in my life, me standing here talking to you guys about growing up in a narcissistic family household and me, me exposing my truth and sharing my truth has so much purpose behind it. The intention is not to hurt, defend, or to stay in that mode. I am seriously trying to show you guys what it used to be what it was, how it used to be, and now where I'm at. Healing is about knowing where you're at and knowing where you're trying to go. And for me, it has taken a very long time for me to see it and understand it. And once I finally saw and understood it, life has made a lot more sense for me. Life has felt a lot better, a lot safer. A lot more peaceful for me. The suffering definitely took the necessary time that it needed to take to build you. You needed to go through this with a narcissist. For whatever reason it is in your life, you needed to go through it with the narcissist. For whatever reason it is in your life, you need to go through the pain of having narcissistic family members. You guys, I know my purpose is so great. And that's why I have so much gratitude to God because he has kept me through all of this abuse. There's no way anybody can tell you you're not called after what you just went through and what you just endured, this type of torture. So many of you have been dealing with pain from, from childhood that you have not been able to express you didn't understand it. You're not, you, you just did not understand yourself. It's always been what's wrong with me. What's wrong with me? Why can't I get it? Why am I not getting it right? Why am I such a screw up in life? Why does it feel like I just don't know where I'm going? I just don't know who I am. Because those very people in your life who were supposed to validate what love is, what happiness is, and what <laughs> what value in yourself lo looks like. They failed to do that. They failed to do that. And when you choose to heal, when you see that you're in an abusive situation, family members or spouse, when you notice that this is narcissistic abuse, so many of you watching this now, now know the word. You're applying it to your life because you see that so many things is checking off. You're, you're recognizing that a lot of it is making sense. Wow, I'm really dealing with this type of emotional abuse and I really need help, want help. I really want to get out of this because I'm better than this. I forgot who I am dealing with this. When we talk about narcissistic abuse and being affected by narcissistic abuse, can't nobody tell you what you went through. Can't nobody tell you what you have experienced. Only you know the truth and only God knows the truth. You literally need to let the truth fight for you because you didn't do nothing wrong. You've given, you were honest, you were loyal, faithful. You were a good son or a good daughter to that parent as best as you could be. To them, it might look opposite because you started setting boundaries or you started exposing the truth. Now you look like this person who's an abuser. 
or this person who is an ungrateful child or this child who's out here confused, don't know what they're doing, don't know what they're talking about, making the family look bad because you finally telling the truth, your truth. For those of you who understand where I'm coming from, I just need you to recognize and know that your truth will fight for you. Your truth will fight for you because everything that's happened has already been recorded. Everything that's happened has happened. Can't nobody tell you what it was like or how you should remember it. It happened and it happened like it happened. And your truth is going to fight for you because in the end, you're going to be vindicated by the way your life is going to go. The fact that you made it, you survived it. Your life is, is going to go as beautifully as it was planned. As beautifully as it was planned. Life was supposed to go a certain way for you. But when you were dealing with the narcissist, when you have these narcissistic people around you, you can't even see where you're going next. You can't even see the light anymore at the end of the tunnel. You want to give up on life because they drain you so badly emotionally. It's tiring to be around narcissistic abuse. The truth will fight for you because life goes up after the narcissist. Those of you dealing with narcissistic family members, do not feel bad if you have to disconnect for your own sanity. For your own sanity, you have to let the truth fight for you because at the appointed time, at the right time, it's all going to make sense. There are those people that are looking at you crazy. They don't know what you're doing. They don't know if you know what you're really talking about. They're like, why you keep talking about narcissists? What is, what is this word? Do you even know what you're talking? Don't worry about it. The truth will fight for you. Because that same person that you're trying to defend yourself about and trying to explain why the relationship did not work. They're, they're going to continue to make a fool of themselves out here in life. They're going to continue to make an example of how narcissistic they are with other relationships. A narcissist isn't just a narcissist with you. Your truth is fighting for you when the narcissist is sitting somewhere scratching their head regretting letting you go. Because you actually are moving on, thriving on beautifully in life. They weren't expecting it. Let your truth fight for you. It is very hard. To fight for yourself dealing with narcissistic abuse. So many people won't understand you. So many people won't get it. You look crazy. I know so many times I look and I come off crazy to those people who don't get it. Who don't understand it. And I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm strong enough to not care. Because my truth will always fight for me. I don't have to care how somebody else is perceiving it how they're interpreting it, or what their opinions are about it. I know my truth. I know what I went through. I know what I remember. And I don't really care what someone else remembers. I don't really care what is considered truth for someone else. And I'm going to stand on it. The narcissist hates truth. They hate truth. Truth makes them despise you. Truth makes them hate you. Truth makes them want to run and talk to everybody about you quickly before you get to them. They have to smear your name because you're too truthful. They have to protect themselves some kind of way because you're too truthful. Narcissistic family members are making sure to contact people to, to tell their side of the story. To let them know something is wrong with you. By the time your side of the story gets heard, this person is already convinced that you're crazy. For now, though. Because while they're convinced you're crazy, this person is still a narcissist. And eventually, the mask is going to fall off for those people that they're fooling, too. Because the same way they narked you, they're narking them. And because your truth came out, however it was received, it came out. And because it came out, it's like a domino effect. Now everybody's truth, now everyone's truth is going to be exposed all because you started it. 
You started coming with all this truth and all this honesty. Once you get truthful about your narcissistic family, <laughs> so much other things is going to come out. The mask really starts to slip because they get so offended about the truth that they want to make it seem like you're lying. You're creating stuff. You're making stuff up in your head. Where is all of this coming from? <laughs> That's not for them to understand or to accept it. It's for you to know and accept that it's your truth and it will always fight for you. It will always fight for you. The narcissist can say what they want to say. They can do what they want to do. They can pray however many prayers they somewhere praying because these people, a lot of narcissists, especially narcissistic parents, they swear they're godly. They swear God is sitting right here on their shoulders, riding with them all day long. And they are just so powerful and prayerful and just so ministerial. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. Minister your own soul. Minister to your own soul and, and gain some accountability and learn to accept that you are an abuser. So many narcissistic family members get so offended. <laughs> when the empath of the family tells them, hey, there's a problem here. I think you're a narcissist. Now you become an opponent. You become an opponent for telling it like it is and for being truthful and for exposing the problem. Nobody wants to deal with the problem, but they all know deep down inside it's a problem. They were just, they were just hoping you would stick with it. They were hoping you would normalize the problem with them for the rest of your life as well. But you're not created that way. It just don't sit well with you and it never will. So you chose a different route in life and they're going to hate you for that. But that's fine because that's your truth and it's going to fight for you. Because once you chose a different route in life, <laughs> watch what life brings you. Because while they somewhere mad at you and, and acting like you're a liar and you're making up things and you're doing this and you're doing that. Look at how good life is going for you. Pay attention to your blessings, though. Ain't nobody talking about that. Nobody, is, nobody wants to talk about how, <laughs> how big of a blessing it is to not have to deal with narcissistic people. No matter who you are. You got to stop giving pity to these narcissistic people. I'm so tired of people talking about some, you know, <laughs> if, you're, if you're perfect then this ain't got nothing to do with being perfect, y'all. This is a spiritual battle. A narcissist does not carry healthy traits or a healthy spirit in any kind of way. How can you have pity for that? How can you have pity for somebody who would, who would literally watch you die? How can you show pity to the devil? All right, you guys, this is your girl, Mommy So True. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, y'all.